Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching CJ Job video. Today we will make this cool material from scratch. Everything you will learn in this tutorial. Each and everything, how to do that, how to make these edges, two colors, this sci-fi material. So let's dive in. So let's get started. So I have this map. I'll just put a sphere here. Maybe I'll scale it this much. much is enough okay so now we will make a material for this sphere so let's make a material and you can call it anything like a dawn fx this is gonna be just a material you can use that in niagara if you want so we have a sphere here also that is from here you can change the shapes but we will use a sphere so what i need i'll use this aura texture and if you don't have, I have a previous video where I, let me just show you. This one, it has the same kind of texture and which is free. You can download from the link in the description. So if you don't have, okay. So I'll use this maybe, let it be. I, I want to use it actually unlit, but let it be for now. So let's connect this here and connect this here or maybe just use this unlit for now okay so we have this first i will decide the tiling but for before that because this is all white i want more contrast so i'll use a power maybe three or four it depends on your texture you don't need to do that now there's more contrast i'll use the tiling and maybe 50 and one so it will be like lines vertical then i want horizontal line that will make it crease and cross so before that let's take a noise texture a different noise texture maybe simple noise okay and this is a simple noise or maybe just I'll just search and define one noise actually. I have actually lots of noise. I'll use this one. This is how it looks. It's quite simple noise. Okay. So I'll use this one here. Then I also want to make contrast in this noise. So I will again use a power. And of course the tiling. Maybe 4-4 four, four is enough. It depends on your DOM. Okay. Then we can multiply these together. So we will have these lines. Then we want horizontal lines. So I can just duplicate this and just swap this. So this will be 1 and 50. So if I preview, this is horizontal lines. Now if I multiply with the same noise, I will have horizontal thing now i can add this and this so i will have something like crisscross thing like this looks cool right then i want to do the same thing again but with different offset so what i'll do i'll just use this i'll just copy this noise i'll use the same tiling i'll just add a random number to offset maybe 0 0.2 5 6 7 anything so it will be the same tiling but the offset will be there okay then i can multiply this and this i will multiply It's actually not showing the tiling, that's why I was confused. So I'm multiplying this and again this. And then add these together. So I have one more crisscross, but there's an offset in the in the noise. So now I want two different colors in these two. So you can see there's an offset in these two. So if I take the LERP and connect this 
and take two colors any two colors maybe i'll take this cyan and maybe something like magenta and if i connect this here preview so magenta is basically that crescent cross and this cyan is basically the brown background so we can use this cyan to multiply this noise so it will come on this then we can add this here so now if i show you the lerp it will have both colors cool now we can just add this here turn this off so now we have this then if you want to make it like more more like a sci-fi kind of thing like pixelated thing you can do things you have this and you have this which is for the noise you can pixelate it how to pixelate so this is the noise this is a texture coordinate just multiply it and with take a floor and then divide and put the same value in this multiplier and in this divide and if i connect if I this is like around 5, 4, you can see the boxes. If you will increase it, it will be the same. So it's like how many you want. So I think 50 is enough. Okay. And same thing you can do here. So I can just use this here and it has offset. Okay. And now this is how it will look. So it has this pixelated kind of thing and these lines also then of course you can add pen so if you want to add different pens you need to duplicate this because it's using the same so now you can add one panel here i'll use maybe point 0.2 and i'll copy this and i'll use here different speed maybe point 0.3 so the cyan and the magenta color will have both different panning speed as you can see maybe point 0.4 double the speed so now you will notice it more cool so we have this now i want bright edges so what i'll do i'll take the fresnel first if i preview this fresnel we have to control it so i'll just make it two oh sorry two then i'll take the power so it will be just the edges then i will multiply it with this whole thing so it will have this color then I will multiply again to increase the brightness, maybe 100. It depends how much you want. And we will control this. Now we just want edges this much. Then I will add it back to the original. And we will have bright edges. Cool. Now I can just, uh, let's make dining uh, instant material if you want. Let me save also. I'll just drag it here and it's kind of not visible here and no idea why so let me just save it again while saving you can just subscribe if you haven't so this is how it looks if you don't like the brightness of edges anything you can control from here so this will be retinal thickness which is currently 5 and this is I'll just call it Prenel Edge Value and this is currently 100 which you can increase okay you can make the panel parameter everything you want to make then I want some bright lines going on so for that what I'll do I'll just copy this one Actually, I want a vertical line, so I'll make this 50 and 1. Then I will add panel here, maybe 0.6. It will be faster in all the pan we have, like this, or maybe just one. Then I'll just multiply this with any of my noise. Uh, these are my noises. So it will cut through. Then I will multiply it with this whole color like I did with the fresnel. Then to control the brightness again, maybe I'll make 20. So these lines will be brighter. And then you can just add it back to the original. 
I guess this is clear now we have some bright lines now I want some lines here on the edge of interaction for that let's make it translucent material and the opacity is uh, Z1 you can increase it if you want okay so let's make it size for now so for that first thing I will control the opacity so what I'll do I will add this thing before color this thing before color and then add Fresnel again before color then I will add these lines again before color so I just added all the black and white things before multiplying it with the color so I got this then I will just multiply it and connect this here and I'll call this opacity default one let's save it and check how does it look in here so if I open the instance this is opacity of course you can increase but it looks like a case so we need to add our all opacity also so after multiplying it I will add I'll call it add opacity which is zero currently let it be so basically if you decrease this opacity to back to one and then you will add see this is basically the transparency of this and then we have Fresnel thickness brightness if you want like this you can make it pure black if you want and I think brightness is too much then I will add some brightness here on the interaction so for that we need we need a depth fade okay and then I will invert this and we need to add it on the opacity and we can control the depth edge the distance currently is 100 okay let's save it and see how it looks We need to also multiply it with color that we actually didn't. So let me do that. So we have this. I will also multiply it. Actually, I just multiply it with a single color, maybe blue. And then I will add it at the last of my node. And then I will put one multiply here just to control how much I want. Let me make a parameter. This will be uh, interaction edge value currently one. Save it. Now you can see that. So we can increase it, make it quite bright, and there's a depth edge that we can reduce. But you'll notice this is just as I want a cool glow that go up so what you can do instead of using this one minus inverting it let me show you something so if you have a gradient and this gradient is like this or maybe this and this is a basic gradient but if you use a divide and use a very low value it will be a cool gradient which is very bright here than fading so I will use that here I will just take a divide instead of this and let's make the value for the divide I just called it divide 0 0.01 after divide I will also use a power to control it how much I want edge power I'll show you how it will work default value 1 save it 
So now you can see it's going all over the. So I can decrease it. This is my divide. Okay, and there's a depth edge. Let's make it 100. And then there's a interaction value which we can reduce maybe this much and the edge power You need to put very low value although here so now it's very bright and you can see that glow i think i need to also make a multiplier here just because we are using so many low value so it's quite bright i will make it point 0.1 yeah then we can increase it so you have to just control it okay and i will also for nail edge value i will increase and this is how it looks i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye